and this goes into the bottom of our pro palette system. And guys, I gotta tell you, for years, we made this the hard way, okay? So when we palletized op one, that was just the start of it. We got, we, we flew through op number one because of our palettes. We had, uh, what is it, maybe uh, 18, 24 parts per palette, something like that. You'll have to go watch Fixture Friday number one. But then when they came off, I didn't really talk about op two or op three. Well, the reason was, is that op two was made with this fixture which went in a 5c rotary we clamped on it and then we took the part that was partially machined and then that would go into this fixture here it has an integrated work stop and then we would have this have a drill and tap drill and counterboard drill and counterboard then it would come out then this would go to a third operation typically in another fixture or a vice depending on the workload and then it would deck off the top chamfer the backside and finally, after sawing, after putting it one at a time in a 5C fixture, manually tightening it with an Allen wrench, and then putting this in a vise or another fixture, we would finally have a finished part. Now, the MX has solved all of that. It pulls two inch material. It goes in and it machines the profile. It drills, it counterbores, it chamfers, it flips it around, it drills, it taps, it deep drills, it counterbores, then the subspindle comes in, grabs it, it faces the backside off and does a final chamfer, drops it into a bin at the right side of the machine. And like, yeah, you see parts, a pile of parts. I see like coins and cash stacked up. I mean, it took a part that was so labor intensive down to just feeding this machine a four foot bar every four hours and making 50 parts per bar. I love technology like this.